This is a Quantum 6000Z power chair. Uh, this chair is, is about three or four years old. It's in excellent condition. Uh, I would give it on a scale of one to 10, probably uh, close to a nine. Uh, this is a Quantum 6000Z, so it has a 400 pound weight capability. This chair has a 400 pound weight capability and it also goes six miles an hour. It's got the high speed, heavy duty motors on this one. It also has the electric seat lift, the electric tilt, and the electric legs. So the first thing I want to show you is the electric tilt. Uh, so to work the function, you would go through the joystick, hit the button forward, then you're at speed two, speed three, speed four. Now the next time you go to the fifth one, it would be the seat. As you can see, it's yellow back and bottom. That means you can tilt the seat now. So if I push the joystick back, you can see how quiet that is. This would be your electric tilt. Now this has also got a swing away joystick, so this joystick can be put on the right or the left, but it is a swing away joystick. So this is your full electric tilt. All the way back. Now once we have the seat tilted back, I'm going to cover the base here in a minute. So we have the seat tilted back now. Let's look at the bottom for now. These are 14 inch drive wheels, original tires from the factory with alloy wheels, caster wheels in the front, caster wheels in the back, heavy duty four brush, four brush motor. You got a brush here, brush. you got four brushes around here which makes this motor a little more powerful and a better quality motor. You have a great suspension with a solid frame. You can see the thickness of the frame. You can see the suspension in the back. You can see the suspension in the front. So we've got suspension front and back, solid frame, if you need to put this chair in neutral, you have a motor for each wheel. So you have a motor on the opposite side. To put it in neutral, all you have to do is push the lever down and your chair is in neutral. Push it back up and you're back in gear. If you're gonna push it, make sure you do both motors, then you can push it. So this is your, your motors and you also have on this chair uh, anchor points. You can tie it right here and you also have one in front right over here on both sides of the chair, you have anchor points. I'm gonna bring the seat back down so you can also, when you're tilted, if you wanted, you could also do your legs. If I wanted to do the legs, I could bring the legs up now while you're tilted. Or when you're down flat, it doesn't matter. So if you bring the legs up now, this would be the, the legs right here going up. So you definitely would have your legs higher than your body. So this would be your electric legs. So I'm going to bring it back down. These legs are adjustable. We can adjust the length of these legs depending on your height and weight or your, we can adjust them for sure. These arms on these chairs are adjustable. They can be raised up and down so you have easy access to your seat if you transfer from the side. Uh, so now I've got the seat back down. And let's see if the legs were all the way up here. Yep, so we got the legs all the way up. I'm gonna bring the legs back down. Uh, I'm going to show you the, the arms here. By lifting this lever here, you can raise the arm completely out of the way so you can transfer it this way. If you had to take this arm off, you just pull the pin here and you can take the whole arm off if you had to. So it's really easy. You have a little pouch right here, so you need to put your cell phone or whatever. These arms are adjustable in height, so you can adjust them in height. There's several adjustments here. Very easy to do. You can see this chair is in matchup condition. Um, let me bring this, the legs all the way down. Then we're going to cover the seat lift. The next <coughs> option I'm going to show you is the 10-inch uh, seat lift. So your legs are back down, and now we're going to do the seat lift. This is your seat lift going up. This is one of the great chairs that Pride Mobility came out with a few years ago. Uh, it's a pretty sharp color. This is a pretty, I don't know what, what color blue that is, but it's a really sharp color. So there goes your 10 inch seat lift. And this is the uh, four point seat lift. So what you have now, you have, you have two bars here and two bars on the opposite side with two motors. So this is your 10 inch seat lift. Now I'm not sure if you can still drive with a seat elevated, but let's just see. Yep, so you can still drive at, at a reduced speed but you can still drive with the seat elevated. Now, if you're gonna drive with the seat elevated, 
make sure that you drive only in the house or when where you're in really flat surface, not to put any strain on the seat. So, so I'll bring the seat back down. So this is your 10 inch seat lift. Uh, this, this chair is built really, really solid. As you can see, there's nothing uh, small about this chair. Then we're gonna cover the seat here in a second. Uh, this is a really, really nice seat. It looks like leather, but it's not leather, it's vinyl, but it's a really comfortable seat. And it's a large, fairly large seat on this chair. So now we've got our seat all the way back down to the driving position. And I would say that this chair is probably about 22 inches from the cushion down to the ground when it's down. And you'd be about 32 inches when you're up. So now we're gonna turn the chair around this way and look at the front. You can see the width of the seat right here. The seat is, uh, <clears throat> The seat itself is 19 inches, but you have room on each side to put a, large, a 20 or a 21 inch cushion. There's an inch on each side left over, so you could put a 21 inch cushion. You have about 19 inch between the arms. The depth of the seat is 20 inches, 20 and a half inches is the depth. Now the depth on this chair, we can make it less or more. So we can move this back forward on this track by releasing these two screws here, we can move the back forward or back more a couple of days. We've got plenty of room to move this back. So if you don't need 21, you're, let's just say you're a really short person and you need to see about here, we can make it happen. No problem at all there. These are floating cushions. They're on Velcro. So you can, there's the owner's manual. So if you, uh, you want to put a different cushion on here, it's up to you. This is a fairly, very nice cushion already. When you charge this chair, you just take your, your quantum charger Plug it in the bottom of the joystick. As soon as the light turns green on your charger, you're fully charged. You don't have to worry about overcharging your chair. Automatically, when a charger recognizes the batteries are full, it'll stop charging. This chair takes two 75 amp batteries. Those are the big batteries. They'll give you about 10 to 15 miles on a battery charge, depending how fast, where you're driving, and the weight of the user. So if you're looking for a power chair that's heavy duty, with a 10 inch seat lift, electric tilt, electric legs. We don't have the electric recline here. We can adjust the tilt on the seat right here. We can adjust it more or less, but it's gonna be manual. But electric tilt, electric recline, uh, electric tilt, electric seat lift, electric legs, great suspension, six miles an hour, powerful motors, uh, swing away joystick, I can go on and on. This would be a really nice one to look at. Very powerful chair, nice smooth ride. This is Mark with Mark's Mobility. We are a family owned business for over 20 years. Thank you for watching this presentation. We have several other models available. If you have any questions, please call the number below 800-677-6293. Thank you again for watching.